opposed to a year ago, I think that uh, both teams will be better than they were at this point a year ago. Uh, in terms of the type of play, I think we're quite similar. I, uh, they have greater uh, big play potential than we do in the, in the form of Golden Richards, for one. He has great speed. Uh, other than that, I think it'll boil down to who can play consistently, uh, down by down throughout the, the 60 minutes. Are you satisfied with your physical condition and the way the squad is coming along? Uh, physically, I think we're in great shape. Uh, maybe the best we've ever been in. What about your offense? Are you going to try to do anything fancy or just do some simple things? No, we're, we're uh, going to try to uh, keep it simple and execute well. Uh, we haven't uh, changed our offense a great deal from a year ago. We feel that uh, how we do it is more important than what we do. Seems to me that's been your philosophy, hasn't it, throughout your career? Yes, we, we have tried to avoid uh, making it complicated in terms of a high number of plays. We've added a couple plays that we didn't have, but uh, we're mostly concerned with striving for execution. Uh, Mrs. Viettel, does your husband often take you for a walk in this kind of weather? Sometimes. Not often. We don't have this weather very often. What do you think about this? Apparently it's not bothering you much. No, I've lived here nearly all my life, so they don't really bother me. Lloyd, what do y'all do in a situation like this? Just mess around. Go for a walk on the boardwalk? <laughs> yes, sir. I take it you're not planning on leaving for the storm? Oh, no, sir. No. The South Campus administration has responded to the heads of the four groups which purportedly submitted the letter to members of the Board of Trustees and to certain administrators on Wednesday. Many of the points advanced in the letter already were under consideration by the administration, and indeed many of the objectives are college objectives. It should be made clear, though, that the college is not considering the dismissal of any individual, as suggested by the letter. Two, the college is in no position to submit to deadlines as requested therein. Jerry, I think uh, they're kind of going back. I think when we first started in professional football, they played a lot of zone, and I think they went through a transition period where they played a lot of man for man, and then uh, now I think they're going back to the zone defenses. Uh, when you play teams like the Cowboys with such great speed and so many good wide receivers uh, as they've had in the past, it's just difficult to, to isolate yourself man for man all over the field. So I think most clubs are, are 
going back to a zone to compensate for the varied uh, formations that you see now. Triple wings, double wings, sometimes three wide receivers, and it's difficult to work in all your defenses in a man-to-man, -man. and so most teams, I think, are, are going back to the zone. Anything you're going to plan for the Cowboys tomorrow night? Well, I don't think uh, we'll do a whole lot uh, uh, different than we did last year when we played them. Uh, uh, hope that we'll get a pretty good pass rush. I think that uh, the Cowboys are an improved football team since we played them in preseason last year. And of course, in the regular season, they were uh, were just making their big move to uh, going on to the championship. And uh, uh, they look like a great football team. I think we're going to play them, uh, try to be very sound against them, not let them have any easy, quick, uh, free touchdowns, and uh, hope that we can stay on the field with them. These representatives of the citizens of Dallas and these organizations in past activities of the board have in certain cases been both verbally and physically abused. Meetings have been asked for with the Dallas city and county governments and the Office of Economic Opportunity. These are the sponsors of the Dallas County Community Action Committee so that we can now reevaluate what must be done because of the recent board activities, which indicate that the board cannot function as it presently exists. The board is becoming the problem, while the problems of the poor and the interests of the citizens of Dallas, who support this indirectly through their tax money and their representatives, are being hampered and abused. It is time now that the sponsors of this agency take some action to correct this problem which is hampering the activity of a Dallas County Community Action Committee. No help, as described here, uh, would be an overall overriding, uh, cohesive or um, uh, coordinating agency, not taking the place of any one of these agencies. We have a fragmented approach to the problem at this time. Proposing a coordinated agency similar to your uh, Council of Governments, which is a method of coordinating the activities of government agencies, uh, and there are other such coordinating bodies uh, which uh, act both in government areas or civic and business areas. Right, I've been, uh, you know, looking forward to starting this year, and uh, been practicing pretty hard this fall, so I'm kind of ready to start. Would you care to comment on Coach Boyle's comments on your ability? He says you make people miss you. You know, just how do you do that? <laughs> I see a big lineman coming. I just try to avoid him. I, I try to uh, more than running over people. I try to avoid people more. And I, I work on, you know, taking certain cuts and getting my eye blocked. So I try to avoid him as much as I can. Well, you have some big offensive linemen uh, since you're moving more to a, say, I'll say a, well, a triple option eye with the pro passing combined. Will this help you in your uh, breaks through the holes in the line, perhaps with the bigger fellas? Oh, yeah. It's, it's going, we have a great line, a real big line, so they, they're going to open holes a lot larger than they did last year, most likely. So this, this will help me a lot in the, you know, with the holes and running in the line. And you'll be running back uh, kickoffs for the Razorbacks, too, this year, will you know? Right, I hope so. Uh, we, we're going to change our returns on this year. Maybe we can get some longer returns in. What gave you the idea to build this one-man band? 
Well, after playing a few years in a rhythm dance band, I decided to retire and just, for my own amusement, I built this one-man band. So, how long did it take you to build this model here? Well, actually, I was on it for eight or ten months, and I finally got it the way I wanted it. I tore up five or six models. You have it patented oh, now? Yes, sir. What is this other model here that you have? Uh, what does it do? Oh, this is, uh, I call this the Forest Park after Fort Worth, you know, it's, uh, really a two-wheel cart that you push around like an organ grinder. It does the uh, same thing as this one does? It does the same thing, yeah. You either push it around like an organ grinder or set it up on a pedestal or something and crank it by hand. And I would say that, uh, I wouldn't advise anyone to try to pull this thing because the music might come out in reverse. It's better to be pushed. <laughs> Looking out at the ocean, listening to the wind whistle past the microphone and talking about a storm. That was just exactly 11 years ago this morning. The storm that time was called Hurricane Carla, and it was a significantly worse storm. When Hurricane Carla blew in, people fled from the coast by the thousands. Last night, when Hurricane Fern blew in, people stayed out on piers and fished, some of them all night. The storm stopped just after it got to Galveston last night, the winds reached about 55 or 60 miles an hour here on Galveston Island at 10.45, lasted for only about 20 minutes, and then calmed down. No one seemed to know for a great length of time where the storm was going. Then the hurricane spotter planes out over the Gulf decided she had stalled, that she might stay there, and that it might rain indefinitely here at Galveston. As a matter of fact, just after midnight last night, the storm began... What you see is the back half of Hurricane Fern. Yesterday, she blew in at a 